Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Welcome back to Powerhouse. You know, a lot more homeowners are thinking about adding fireplaces to their floor plan. A fireplace not only adds to the comfort of your home, but it also adds to the value. Well, today we've got a special treat. I'm going to take you behind the scenes here at the Heatilator plant in Mount Pleasant, Iowa to find out how fireplaces are manufactured. Joining us is brand specialist Margie Mounts. Hi, Margie. Hi, Megan. Thanks, Thank you for thanks joining so us Thanks so much here. for having us. Uh -huh. Now, Heatilator's been around a long time, hasn't we it? We have. We've been in business over 75 years. In fact, it'll be 80 years next year. Um, we are the oldest fireplace manufacturer in the country. Wow. We were the first. Now, what's the first step in making a fireplace? A fireplace is actually in design two to three years ahead of time. Marketing does a lot of research on what the market needs, what kind of a fireplace we need to develop, and we start that process two to three years ahead of time. Um, about 12 months ahead of the time we want to launch the product, it comes over here to our R&D facility, and we have designers that actually work on CAD machines, so they design the fireplace, and then it comes down here to our lab, where they're going to be building um, prototypes of the fireplace you can see here. And then uh, we do a lot of testing on our fireplaces too. Uh, we go through Underwriters Laboratory to make sure that we are building the very safest fireplace we can because after all we are putting fire into someone's home. We want to make sure that it's going to be the safest product that we can manufacture. Now we just walked by an interesting process going on. He was testing that fireplace obviously. He is obviously. testing that fireplace. Um, he has, there's thermocouples that he is testing with to make sure that the fireplace and the surround around the fireplace is not exceeding the temperatures that are approved for that fireplace. Boy, a lot of considerations here Absolutely, at Heatilator. Yes. There are just as many considerations for a homeowner, right? When they're thinking about purchasing a fireplace, what are some things that they should take into account? Well, first of all, they want to figure out where they want to put it in their home. How big is this room? Is it square? Is it rectangle? So that's going to determine where they're going to put this fireplace. Secondly, they want to determine, do they want a single-sided fireplace, two-sided, which is a see-through, three-sided, which is a peninsula fireplace. So you want to determine what configuration of fireplace, then where you're going to put it in your room, how big of a fireplace do you want? Do you want a big fireplace like this over here? Where our largest fireplace is 50 inches wide. Or do you want something smaller like this right down here, which is, a, I believe, a 36 inch fireplace? Then you want to determine what do you want to burn in this fireplace? Do you want to burn gas like that burns gas? We have over here, we're testing a wood burning fireplace. Do you want to burn wood in it? Do you want to burn pellet? Do you, is it an electric fireplace? So there's lots of different considerations. Boy, there sure are. Why don't you just take us through the process? Sure. How do you build a fireplace? Well, let's go out into the plant and I will show you. Great. Wow, this is really impressive. Yes, it is, isn't it? Tell us about the process. Well, we, we start with getting our raw materials in and they come in in big, large coils and most of our fireplaces are made out of sheet metal. In our fabrication department, they are cut into what we call blanks and then they're sent over to another fabrication area that shapes them into the various shapes and sizes that we need for all of the different parts of our fireplaces. And then, of course, the parts are painted and then they come to the line where they are assembled, as you can see here. Now, you make both wood-burning fireplaces as well as natural gas fireplaces. What's the biggest difference between those fireplaces, aside from the fuel? We make the two different kinds. They are, the biggest difference is obviously the fuel. One burns wood, one burns gas, and we make uh, natural gas burning fireplaces and we make LP gas burning fireplaces. So there are two different types of gas fireplaces. Um, the big difference is in the venting of the fireplaces. A wood burning fireplace has to vent vertically. A gas fireplace can vent horizontally or can vent vertically. Uh, tell us about direct venting. Okay, direct venting is a gas fireplace technology. Um, it takes absolutely no air from the room to combust the fire. It's, there is a pane of glass over the front and it gets all of its combustion air and expels the flue gases through a double wall pipe system. system. It's very energy efficient because it is not using the, the air that you have already paid for to heat your home to combust your fire and to go out outside your house. 
So it's very energy efficient. Right. I, I can't help but notice these logs here. Yes. Now, for the natural gas fireplaces, when this burns, does it look like a wood fire? It does. It looks very, very much like a wood fire. When, when this is done, there'll be some more logs put into this. This is not the final of, of the logs. And then we will put embers, so it looks like a fire that has burned down some. So there's lots of different variations. Let's take a look. Okay, well, let's go take a look. Well, it looks like heat later offers something for everyone when it comes to style. We do. As I said before, we have several different configurations. We have single-sided fireplaces, as you see here. We have two-sided see-throughs, and we have three-sided peninsulas. So we have something for every room in every home. These surrounds make a big difference in the presentation, too, don't they? They do. Um, here we have a traditional wood surround, and over here we have um, various styles, and over here, too, we have various styles of cast surround. And cast surrounds are becoming the up-and-coming trend in uh, fireplaces and in home building. This creates a high impact, and talking about high impact, Let's go out with this one. All right. This is beautiful. Do you make this surround too, this wood? We do make this surround, and we also supply the marble for all of our different fireplaces. This is the Icon 100. It's a 50-inch wide wood-burning fireplace. It is beautiful. Margie, thanks so much for the tour, the information. It's been a great day. Thank you. You stay with us. We'll be back with more Powerhouse.